A natural remedy that solves prostate problems without causing any harm to men, without affecting their sexual function. That's what every man would like to have and so would we, doctors. After all, we want to solve the problem without causing any side effects. And if you search the internet, that's exactly what you'll find. Lots of promises of natural remedies out there. But does it really work? Today I want to bring you a scientific analysis of a natural compound that has scientific evidence supporting its effectiveness in treating benign prostatic hyperplasia, the well-known enlarged prostate. Hello, I'm Dr. Tiago and I'm a urologist here in Sao Paulo. Mr. Pedro is a 57-year-old patient who has been suffering from the symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia for about five years. He has that weak stream, that feeling that he can't empty his bladder and he wakes up several times at night to urinate. Tired of this and looking for a solution, he went to the urologist and was advised to take two medications, Tamsulosin and Dutasteride. He went to the pharmacy, bought the medicine, got home and what did he do? He read the package insert and there he saw that there was a multitude of possible side effects. He got scared and didn't take it. So he went looking for a solution on the internet and came across all sorts of natural remedies that promised miraculous results with no side effects at all. If you related to this story, leave a comment below. Therefore, today I want to bring a scientific analysis of saw palmetto, a herbal medicine used in the treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia, which does in fact have scientific evidence supporting its benefits. Let's get started. Saw palmetto is an extract from a plant, actually from the fruit of the saw palmetto, scientifically known as Serenoa repens. The extract from this fruit contains compounds that are anti-inflammatory and also block the testosterone receptor, preventing its action. The main mechanism of action is the inhibition of the enzyme 5-alpha reductase, which is an enzyme that converts testosterone into dihydrotestosterone. Dihydrotestosterone is a hormone much more potent than testosterone and is found in high concentrations in the prostate. It is related to the pathophysiology, to the cause of the disease benign prostatic hyperplasia or enlarged prostate. In fact, the mechanism of action of finasteride and dutasteride is precisely to block this enzyme. So, saw palmetto supposedly would also have this effect, very similar to dutasteride and finasteride. Well, doctor, so what do the studies show? There is a first large study that analyzed 5,200 men. What did this study do? Actually, it is a meta-analysis of several studies which resulted in this large number of people, right, of treatments in which half took a placebo, a flower pill, and the other half took the herbal medicine saw palmetto. And what was the result of this study? Neither group showed any difference. In other words, Taking saw palmetto had precisely the same result as taking a completely inactive placebo, meaning there was absolutely no discernible benefit. So, doctor, does that mean taking saw palmetto is just a scam? Hold on. Now we're getting to a very important part of the video, so come back here, pay attention, stay with me. When, you, when the industry gives you the saw palmetto pill, when you buy that little bottle with the pills, it's been extracted, it's an extract from the plant, from the fruit in this case. And this extract has two main extraction methods. The first one uses a solvent, which is alcohol, and the second uses another solvent called hexane. Why am I telling you this? Because then, at that point in time, these two very recent and significant new studies came out, which meticulously analyzed exclusively saw palmetto extract that had been carefully processed and obtained using the chemical solvent hexane. These studies were conducted in Europe, and there they used a medication called permixon, which is saw palmetto extracted with the hexane solvent. And what did these studies show? They also gave a placebo and they also gave saw palmetto to the participants. So half took the placebo and the other half took saw palmetto. Those who took saw palmetto had a 35% improvement in episodes of waking up at night to urinate. In other words, if you used to wake up 10 times, you started waking up 7 times. I'm saying this here statistically speaking, okay? There was a 35% improvement, so if you used to wake up 5 times, you started waking up 3 or 2 times. And this is very important because we know that one of the things that really worsens men's quality of life is waking up at night to pee. 
And salt palmetto also increased, on average, urinary flow in men by 2.7 milliliters per second. So there was also an improvement in flow. The urinary stream became stronger. The urinary stream got stronger. Therefore, in these two studies, salt palmetto using the Equesano extraction was beneficial for patients who had benign prostatic hyperplasia. It also showed that in some patients, they compared it with tamsulosine and finasteride and the efficacy was very similar. So this study showed that so palmetto, when extracted using the Equisano method, did indeed have satisfactory results comparable to tamsulosine and finasteride, and even more with fewer side effects, less impact on libido and less erectile dysfunction. Well, doctor, then why don't you just recommend using so palmetto if it's just like the medications you prescribe and use, but with fewer side effects? Hold on, it's not all sunshine and roses. That's where the problems start to appear. The first of them is this study down here, which is showing what? They took saw palmetto compounds, analyzed the same sample from the same batch, and found that even within the same batch, there are significant variations in the concentration of the active ingredient. It's not about the concentration in milligrams, okay? It's about the potency of the active ingredient present there, which makes a lot of sense. After all, it's a natural extract. If you pick up an orange, then grab another one right next to it, they'll be completely different because there's no control. It's just the extract that's made and put in there. So it will vary depending on the plant. And this is very important because when you go to the doctor and you want to receive treatment, it's crucial that we, based on science, based on what we study, based on the countless studies that exist about treatments for all diseases, offer a treatment that is effective. I can't say to you, look, go ahead, take this medicine, take this pill here, but if you're lucky, it'll have the right amount of the compound, all right? That's not possible. When I give you an antibiotic, when I give you a medicine, I need to know the exact, the amount of medicine you're taking. If you're taking the right pill, so you get the effect that's expected from the treatment, we can't just leave it up to luck, up to whichever batch you happen to buy. That's why industrialized medicines have this control and we know exactly how much you're taking. Got it? And the second big problem is, remember when I mentioned the extraction method? It only works with Equisano. With alcohol, we don't have scientific evidence that it works. And here in Brazil, I haven't found any saw palmetto phytotherapeutic product that even mentions the extraction method. So you might be buying one that was extracted with alcohol and it might not have any effect on you at all. Therefore, that is precisely why the esteemed European Association of Urology itself explicitly states in its comprehensive guidelines that saw palmetto can indeed be effectively utilized as a viable treatment option for benign prostatic hyperplasia, but primarily as a crucial second-line alternative for those particular patients who unfortunately did not adequately respond to conventional established treatment regimens with standard pharmaceutical medications or who experienced significant debilitating side effects that ultimately rendered the initial treatment unfeasible and unsustainable. It's right there in the guidelines. You can go online, type in European Association of Urology Prostate Guidelines and you'll find this recommendation which is shown in the screenshot below. Therefore, saw palmetto can indeed be used. We don't stop using it because we favor the pharmaceutical industry. After all, the industry that produces saw palmetto is also an industry. It's a natural remedy, but it's still an industry. It has commercial interests. It's not just acting out of goodwill. For them, it would be very interesting if we prescribed it as well. But our commitment to ethics and to science means we seek out medications where we can predict their effects and benefits in treatment. Agreed? I truly hope you thoroughly understood and genuinely enjoyed this informative video. If you wish to continue receiving high quality information directly in your email inbox, I have created a dedicated newsletter where you'll receive weekly updates on various health treatments, important tips, essential nutrition, and the best insights from scientific research delivered straight to your inbox. The link to sign up is right below in the description of this video. Click there, you'll be taken to my page where you can enter your email and your name so I can send these emails to you for free. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm Dr. Tiago and I'll see you in the next video.